So I was over at my in-laws last night, and my father-in-law gave me a bunch of electronics components, and in it were two of these five-digit, seven-segment LED displays. And so I wanted to get them working and see how they work today. So I took a look at the pinouts on these boards, and what I noticed is that they're they're multiplexed, which means that a lot of the digits are all wired up together to save um, pins on how many pins you need to control the device. So there's five digits and each digit has nine pins each and they're kind of wired up together. So basically the nine pins for each digit are there's seven for the numerical display and then there's one for the decimal point and then there's one for ground. And on this display, all the seven segments for each digit are wired up t together. So you only need a couple of pins to control them once. The problem is what it does is it makes it so you can only control one digit at a time, um, which is okay because in when you're controlling them, what you do is you display the number on one for a few milliseconds and then you turn it off go to the next digit display a number for a few milliseconds and you just loop over and over again and if you do it fast enough the human eye can't determine you can't distinguish that one is off and one is on it looks like all five are being used at the same time when down on the detail level it's it's only one one digit at a time so I have to use a microcontroller, in this case I'm using a, an Arduino, to do that, to control one digit at a time and just do it really fast so that I can display something on it. So what I did is I went through and made a matrix of each of the different pins on the on this display here and figured out which one, which pins control which part of the display on which digit and each of these columns is is a different digit so you know one through five and then these pins on the row are which part of the segment it is or if it's the decimal point or and the the column is the ground so depending on if I turn the ground high or high or low I can turn that digit on or off and if I do any of these other pins high or low then I can turn that specific segment on or off so what I did is I hooked it up to my Arduino and I used an IDE cable here because on the display here there's a it's a 2x10 row that doesn't really fit into my breadboard very well without shorting some pins that I don't want shorted. So I stuck it into an IDE cable which seemed to work pretty well and on the other end of the IDE cable I wired it up to some resistors and then wired it up to the outputs on my Arduino. The yellow ones here are the ground, so that I can control the, each digit individually, and then the red ones here are the different seven segments on the display. I ran out of outputs on my Arduino. The zero and one pins, I found out you probably shouldn't be using those to do stuff when you're, when you're developing, because the USB port uses those two pins to send and upload a program to the Arduino so if you've got stuff going on there it messes up your communication to the Arduino and then on pin 13 there's an LED on the board with a resistor so it it made that digit really dim and you couldn't see it so I ended up not being able to use all five digits although I've got the code working for it and and I, I did see it working for a while but I unhooked it and ended up only having enough pins to control four at a time. Um, what I want to do is get something called a shift register, or a couple of them, which are, is another chip that I can hook into it to control the displays. And what it does is it frees up a bunch of the outputs on the Arduino, so that I only need, you know, a few different outputs, and it can controls the shift register, and then the shift register would control the displays, and I can chain up as many shift registers as I need. It's basically a serial to parallel converter type thing where I could just send data to the shift registers and tell them what to display. So it was kind of a fun project to get something that was 
multiplexed working and write the code to figure out how to do it. And I think I got it working pretty well with all the displays are evenly, they're evenly, have an even brightness to them. So, um, that's how I did it.